Genghis Khan, a name that echoes through history. From his humble beginnings to his rise as the ruler of the largest land empire ever seen, his story is one of relentless ambition, strategic genius, and unyielding force. Let's delve into his life and legacy. Before he became Genghis Khan, the unstoppable force he was known as Temujin. The Mongolian steppes, his birthplace, were unforgiving and brutal. A landscape dominated by endless expanses of harsh, barren land, the frigid air biting at the skin and numbing the senses. Every sight, every sound, every sensation in this wilderness imbued a sense of struggle, and it was into this world that Temujin was born. His life was marked by struggle from the very onset. It seemed as though the universe had conspired to set him on a path of hardship. Orphaned at a tender age, he was bereft of the warmth of a mother's love, the wise counsel of a father. His parents, once his pillars of strength, were mere memories, their echoes reverberating in his heart. Fate was swift in thrusting him into a life of poverty and hardship. Stripped of the comforts of a normal childhood, he was thrust into a world where survival was the only measure of success. Each day was a battle, each breath a testament to his determination. But it was during these trying times that the seeds of his indomitable spirit were sown. His life was a crucible, shaping and hardening him under the relentless hammering of adversity. Surviving through sheer will cunning, Temujin learned early on to adapt to his circumstances. Each challenge he faced, each adversity he overcame, hardened his resolve and sharpened his survival instincts. He learned to read the terrain, to use the elements to his advantage. He learned to hunt, to kill, to survive. He was a survivor, a fighter who refused to be swept away by the cruel winds of fate. His life was marked by recognition of the smallest opportunities, the slightest advantages, and he learned to seize them, to turn the tides in his favor. He understood that survival was not about brute force, but about adaptation and cunning. He harnessed the raw power of determination fueled by the fierce desire to survive, to thrive, to dominate. This period of his life was instrumental in molding him into the leader he would become. These harsh experiences served as his teachers, educating him about the world in a way no school ever could. They taught him invaluable lessons about resilience, about strategy, about survival. The harsh landscape of his childhood became the canvas on which his strategic brilliance was painted. His rise from obscurity to prominence, from poverty to power, was not a stroke of luck, but a testament to the raw power of determination. His life was a testament to the power of human spirit to overcome adversity, to rise from the ashes, phoenix-like, more robust, more determined. As Genghis Khan, he would carry these lessons with him, ingraining them into the very heart of his empire. He built his kingdom on the foundations of resilience, strategy, and determination. His rule was marked not by tyranny, but by a deep understanding of human nature, of the primal instincts that drive us, the indomitable human spirit that refuses to be crushed. In the next segment, we will delve deeper into how these early experiences shaped Genghis Khan's strategic brilliance and relentless ambition that would later change the course of history. As we continue our journey, we turn our attention from the initial years of Temujin to the pivotal stage of his life, his transformation into Genghis Khan, a figure whose name would become synonymous with unyielding leadership. The Mongolian steppes, a place that holds the memory of his childhood wanderings, were the dramatic canvas for his eventual rise to unmatched power. The same harsh lands that had once threw challenges to his survival skills now stood mute testimony to his exemplary strategic acumen and unshakable resolve. His ascension was never a fortunate accident, but an outcome of scrupulously crafted alliances and groundbreaking military strategies. Temujin, the visionary, grasped the potential of unity. He began the intricate process of bridging alliances, methodically integrating the splintered tribes of Mongolia under a single emblem. His charismatic persona and far-reaching vision resonated deeply with the populace, resulting in willing submission to his leadership. He emerged as a beacon of hope in times of chaos, a symbol of strength and unity in an age marked by disarray and conflict. His revolutionary military strategies were a testament to his genius. Shattering traditional tribal hierarchies, he introduced a merit-based system, 
valuing loyalty and competence over ancestral lineage. This fostered a sense of equality and camaraderie among his soldiers. Contrasting with the prominent feudal systems, where birthright determined one's rank and status, Temujin's approach was a breath of fresh air. Exploiting the mobility of his horse archers, a characteristic feature of Mongolian warfare, he wielded this asset to devastating effect. He perfected the art of psychological warfare, using fear as a potent weapon to demoralize his adversaries. His strategies were not just about brute force, but about outmaneuvering his rivals, striking unexpectedly, and capitalizing on their vulnerabilities. On the battlefield, Temujin was more than a commander. He was a leader who led from the front. His presence on the battlefield was inspirational, his bravery contagious. His soldiers looked up to him, respected him, and were ready to sacrifice their lives at his command. Under his guidance, the Mongols transformed from a collection of nomadic tribes to an invincible military force. The previously splintered tribes of Mongolia now stood united, their collective strength unparalleled. This unity, coupled with Temujin's strategic brilliance, laid the groundwork for the biggest contiguous empire in world history. Culminating in 1206, a grand gathering known as a Kurultai recognized Temujin as Genghis Khan, translating to universal ruler. This pivotal moment marked the birth of Genghis Khan, a leader whose name would reverberate in the annals of world history. In the next segment, we will delve into the impacts of Genghis Khan's rule and how his enduring legacy continues to shape the contours of our world today. From the heart of the Mongolian steppes, Genghis Khan embarked on a relentless pursuit of expansion. His rise to power started modestly, from humble beginnings in the harsh terrains of Mongolia. Unlike many, Genghis Khan did not inherit a kingdom. Instead, he forged one with his own two hands, laying the foundations of what would become the largest contiguous empire the world has ever seen. His armies, well-disciplined and fearsome, were a force to be reckoned with. They swept across vast landscapes from the snowy peaks of Siberia to the windswept plains of Hungary. They tore across Asia from the scorching deserts of Persia to the lush valleys of China, leaving a trail of awe and terror in their wake. The thunderous hooves of his horsemen echoed in the valleys and plains, heralding the arrival of a force that was both feared and revered. Each soldier was a hardened warrior, disciplined in the art of combat, and well-versed in the strategies of war. The Mongol horsemen in particular were a sight to behold, their skill in archery unmatched, their speed unparalleled. Genghis Khan's conquests were not merely military expeditions, they were more like a relentless tide that reshaped the political and cultural of the regions they touched. His rule extended from the Pacific Ocean in the east to the Caspian Sea in the west, a vast expanse that encompassed many diverse civilizations and cultures. His Mongol Empire was a testament to his strategic brilliance and unyielding resolve, a reflection of his leadership style. His armies were unstoppable, their strategies innovative and devastating. They perfected the art of siege warfare, incorporating engineering feats such as catapults and trebuchets. They employed decoy tactics, luring enemies into traps and ambushes. But Genghis Khan's conquests were about more than just warfare and territorial acquisition. He understood the power of culture and diversity. The Mongol Empire was a melting pot of various cultures, languages, and religions. It was a place of cultural exchange and integration, a place where ideas, goods, and people moved freely across the vast expanse of his empire. The Mongol Empire fostered an era of unprecedented cultural and intellectual exchange. It was an empire of contrasts, feared for its military prowess but admired for its cultural vibrancy. It was a force of destruction but also a catalyst for progress, a place where new ideas were born and old ones were challenged. Genghis Khan's numerous conquests left an indelible mark on the world, reshaping political and cultural boundaries. His influence extended well beyond his death, his legacy continuing to shape the contours of our world long after his passing. His empire, though long gone, still resonates in our world today, a testament to the enduring impact of his reign. In the next segment, we will delve into the enduring legacy of Genghis Khan and how his influence continues to shape the contours of our world. We will explore the intricacies of his rule, the impacts of his conquests, and the profound ways in which he changed the course of human history. 
From his humble beginnings in the vast steppes of Mongolia, Genghis Khan would rise to become one of history's most formidable conquerors, a man whose legacy continues to shape the world as we know it today. From the ruins of the cities he conquered, Genghis Khan built an empire that was as progressive as it was vast. This empire, built from the ashes of his conquests, was a beacon of progress and innovation in a world that too often succumbed to the narrow confines of parochial thinking. Genghis Khan, often painted as a ruthless conqueror, transcended these simplistic caricatures to become a leader who understood the power of diversity, the importance of equitable governance. His name, while evoking images of marauding horsemen and widespread destruction, belies the visionary ruler he was. He was not just a military tactician, but also a statesman, a lawgiver, and a patron of diverse cultures. The foundations of his empire were not merely laid with bricks and mortar, but with ideas, beliefs, and principles that were far ahead of his time. His governance was comprehensive, compelling, and cultivated. It not just about the wielding of the sword, but also about the wielding of the pen and the plow. He was not a ruler who sought to impose a hegemonic culture or religion on his subjects. Instead, his empire was a melting pot of cultures and religions, a testament to his belief in the power of diversity. This was not just a political strategy, it was a philosophy that underpinned his rule. Religious freedom was more than just a concept within his domains. It was a lived reality. This was a practice that was unprecedented at the time. From Buddhists to Christians, from Muslims to shamanists, all were able to practice their faith without fear of persecution or discrimination. This was a cornerstone of his rule, demonstrating his commitment to create an environment of inclusivity and tolerance. His administrative strategies were not just effective, they were revolutionary. He implemented a system of laws known as Yasa, which laid the foundation for a unified legal code under his rule. These laws were not just about maintaining order, they were also about promoting fairness and justice. They covered an array of subjects, from property rights to hunting regulations, from trade rules to criminal punishment, signaling a commitment to an equitable and just society. One of his most significant contributions was the postal system known as YAM. It was a sophisticated courier network that spanned the length and breadth of his empire, facilitating communication and ensuring the swift delivery of messages and goods. This system was not only efficient, but also groundbreaking, serving as a model for future postal systems. Genghis Khan was not just a conqueror, he was also a proponent of trade and commerce. He established trade routes across his empire, ensuring the free flow of goods and ideas. These routes later formed part of the legendary Silk Road, connecting the East with the West, fostering an era of unprecedented cultural and intellectual exchange. Despite his reputation as a ruthless conqueror, Genghis Khan was a progressive ruler. He understood that the strength of an empire lay not just in its military power, but also in its economic vitality and cultural diversity. His governance strategies were a testament to this understanding, laying the foundation for a rule that was as enlightened as it was powerful. In the next segment, we will delve deeper into the legacy Genghis Khan left behind. We will explore how his strategies and policies continue to influence our world today, shaping the way we think about governance, administration, and multiculturalism. Throughout his life, Genghis Khan demonstrated that a ruler's greatness lay not just in his ability to conquer, but also in his ability to govern effectively and fairly. As we've discovered, Genghis Khan was not just a conqueror but also a builder of civilizations. He was a leader who believed in the power of cultural integration and intellectual growth. His reign, while marked by warfare and conquest, was also characterized by a significant cultural exchange and artistic flourishing. We delve deep into the profound cultural impact of Genghis Khan's reign in this segment, exploring how his influence permeated various aspects of life from commerce and communication to arts and culture. Genghis Khan's rule marked an era of cultural awakening. His grand empire, a vibrant patchwork of diverse civilizations and belief systems, served as the birthplace of a notable cultural renaissance. He championed the exchange of ideas and practices, encouraging a climate of creativity and innovation. This cultural intermingling triggered the emergence of unique art forms, literary styles, architectural aesthetics, a testament to the dynamic diversity of his empire. 
The Mongol Empire under Genghis Khan became a dynamic hub for intellectual dialogue. Scholars, artists, and scientists from various corners of the world were drawn to his empire, bringing along their wisdom and expertise. This influx of intellectual capital led to a period of exponential growth in various fields such as astronomy, medicine, philosophy, and mathematics. Genghis Khan's realm was a lighthouse of knowledge, magnetizing the brightest minds of the time. Art found a special place in Genghis Khan's court. He was a patron of artists, musicians, and poets, acknowledging their critical role in molding the cultural fabric of his empire. His court was a sanctuary for artists, where they were provided the freedom and resources to innovate and create. This led to a cultural blossoming under his rule, leading to the creation of timeless artworks that resonate even today. Genghis Khan's reign also witnessed the birth of new languages and scripts, Mongolian, which was primarily an oral language, was formalized under his rule. The Uyghur script was embraced as the empire's official script, marking the advent of written Mongolian language. This was a noteworthy development, showcasing the evolution of the Mongol Empire. Even the culinary world was not untouched by Genghis Khan's influence. The Mongol Empire was a cauldron of culinary traditions, with inspirations from China, Persia, and Central Asia. This fusion of food cultures led to the creation of innovative dishes and cooking techniques, the empire's gastronomic heritage. In conclusion, Genghis Khan was more than just a military leader. He was a cultural emissary. His reign was marked by a period of cultural blossoming, characterized by artistic innovation, intellectual growth, and cultural exchange. His influence extends beyond the battlefield, shaping the cultural landscape of the world. In the next segment, we will explore the enduring legacy of Genghis Khan, examining how his strategies and policies continue to shape our world today. Stay tuned for more insights into the life and reign of this fascinating figure. In the twilight of his life, Genghis Khan left behind an empire that stretched across the continents, a testament to his strategic genius and indomitable spirit. His death was not an end, but a new dawn, the dawn of an era shaped by his durable legacy. His descendants carried on his legacy by extending the Mongol Empire's boundaries, absorbing new territories, and perpetuating his vision. They adopted his strategies, implemented his policies, and steered the empire with his spirit of cultural assimilation and intellectual progress. For many generations his lineage ruled, reflecting his principles and values. Genghis Khan's influence, however, is not confined within the geographical boundaries of his empire or the lineage of his descendants. His impact travels beyond time, weaving its threads into the fabric of our world today. His tactics of warfare are part of the curriculum in military academies. His policies reflecting religious tolerance and cultural exchange are celebrated for their progressive nature. His emphasis on trade and communication continues to influence contemporary economic theories. The Mongol Empire under Genghis Khan established the Silk Road, a network of trade routes interlinking the East with the West. This significant development led to the ancient world's globalization, allowing the free flow of goods, thoughts, and cultures. Today, in our globalized world, the Silk Road's legacy is evident as commercial and communication practices blur the lines between borders. Genghis Khan's rule was also characterized by advancements in technology and infrastructure. The empire witnessed the birth of intricate postal systems, revolutionary public works, and the advent of paper money. These advancements form the foundation of various modern conveniences we currently enjoy. Genghis Khan's influence extends to our cultural landscape as well. The artistic inventions, literary styles, and architectural aesthetics that emerged during his rule continue to inspire contemporary artists and scholars. It was during his reign that timeless masterpieces saw the light of day, the reverberations of which are still present in various forms of modern art. Genghis Khan's legacy is therefore not only enduring but also omnipresent. His vision, strategies, and influence continue to shape our world. He is therefore a figure of perpetual significance. As we delve deeper into the life and reign of Genghis Khan, we discover that his influence is not restricted to history books. Instead, it thrives in our societies, cultures, and our collective consciousness making his presence felt even today. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the fascinating world of Genghis Khan in our next segment. Welcome back to our final segment. 
As we delve deeper into the annals of our past, the narrative of Genghis Khan reverberates in the labyrinth of historical records, resonating his unyielding spirit, insatiable ambition, and unparalleled strategic acumen. His existence was far from a random sequence of events. Instead, it was the saga of an indomitable force, the incarnation of a vision that surpassed geographical boundaries and historical epics. Born in the harshest corners of the Mongolian wilderness, Genghis Khan rose from the dust of obscurity to etch his name in the sands of time as the architect of the largest land empire that the world has ever witnessed. His exceptional genius in the field of warfare, coupled with his progressive foresight, laid the groundwork for a legacy that continues to shape the world today. His reign, while marked by an iron fist, was also characterized by enlightened policies that encouraged cultural integration, religious freedom, and intellectual advancement. His empire was far more than a geographical extension. It was a vibrant tapestry of diverse cultures, traditions, and ideologies. The Silk Road, a trade route that was established under his rule, stands as a testament to his visionary leadership, opening the gates for global trade and cultural exchange. This historic trade route was more than a conduit for commerce. It served as a bridge for the exchange of ideas, philosophies, and arts, playing a pivotal role in the globalization of the ancient world. Genghis Khan's influence was not bound by the constraints of his era. His innovative strategies are still scrutinized in military academies across the globe, his policies of tolerance continue to be celebrated, and his emphasis on trade and communication continue to guide modern economic policies. His contributions to culture continue to inspire artists, historians, and scholars even to this day. As we conclude our expedition through the life and times of Genghis Khan, we come to the realization that his story is not simply the tale of a man, but a narrative of an era, an era that was shaped and defined by his unyielding spirit and strategic brilliance. His impression on the canvas of history is indelible, his legacy enduring and his influence simply timeless. He looms large in the grand tapestry of history, a testament to the power of ambition, strategic genius, and an unyielding force. His tale continues to echo through the corridors of time, serving as a constant reminder of the indomitable spirit that has the power to shape the world. Genghis Khan's story continues to resonate across continents, his wisdom imparted to countless generations, his leadership qualities studied and emulated by numerous world leaders. His life, though characterized by relentless ambition and ruthless conquests, was also marked by wisdom, tolerance, and an unparalleled understanding of the human spirit. His rule, though marked by conquest, also signified growth, an amalgamation of diverse cultures, ideas, and traditions. From the dusty plains of to the grand halls of the world's most prestigious military academies, his name continues to inspire awe and admiration. The footprints he left on the sands of time continue to guide us, his strategies served as a blueprint for future military campaigns, and his policies of tolerance continue to inspire modern laws and social norms. As we stand on the shoulders of this giant, we are reminded of the power of ambition, the importance of strategic thinking, and the indomitable spirit that can shape the world. This is the timeless echo of Genghis Khan, the echo that continues to resonate across the globe and through the generations.